Hey, what's going on, guys? Dane the Man coming at you from the 60s Rule Channel. And on today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a uh, steering column that looks a little more realistic than the one that came from the kit. Because I'm working on this uh, Henry J. Gasser over here, and then I was working on the interior, and uh, we got the shifter in and uh, the gas pedal. And it's time to put the steering column in, and I'm looking at it, and... Uh, it doesn't look very realistic, does it? So uh, we're going to change all that. We're going to use uh, a piece of aluminum tubing. And uh, a tubing that I used here is uh, k &S, Precision Metals. Uh, if you don't have a hobby store near you, I know a lot of hobby stores carry this. But if you don't, you can get it at Hobby Link USA. Or you can actually go to Ace Hardware. That's what I bought some of this. Ace Hardware does carry these. Yeah, carry uh, aluminum tubing, brass. So uh, check them out first. If you if they don't if you don't have one uh, near you, uh, Hobby Link. You know you can order on Hobby Link, and comes in you know all different sizes, all different shapes. Very useful stuff. Okay, what I did first, I cut my aluminum tubing out. As you can see right here, exactly the same size as the one that came with the kit. And it's uh, very easy to do. All you need is an X-Acto knife. All right? Get yourself a sharp blade. And what you're going to do, all you got to do is just mark it off, and you're just going to roll it like that. It takes five seconds. Boom. That's it. You're done. Now, to attach it to the wheel right over here, and you notice, too, I also drill the holes out. Uh, it looks, it looks a lot more realistic when you drill the holes out, guys. So find the right size bit and, uh, drill those holes out first, okay? Now what we're going to do now, we're going to drill a hole right in the center hub over here. And what we're going to do to attach it, we're going to use a pin, a straight pin. I don't know if you can see that right there. And I got a whole bunch of them. I got like, there's a... This whole tray, I got about five different sizes. Uh, they're very useful. Uh, you guys like to scratch build? These are going to come in handy, all right? You can buy these anywhere. You can go to Walmart, hobby store, craft store, whatever. So, I got my uh, bit in here. I chucked it up. I already mic'd this out. I think it's, uh, let's see, if I can get the straight pin up. <laughs> Big hand, small pin. Let's see. Uh, it's about like 20 thousandths. So the bit I got in the pin vise here is a little bit bigger, but it's it, it'll do the job. I think I broke some of my smaller bits, but I think this is about 24. But, you know, get the right size bit, you know. And what we're going to do, we're going to go right in the center. Okay. We're going to drill this out. I think I went through already. Okay, we're going to clean it up. Just do it very carefully, you know. It's a fragile piece. And let's see, we're going to take our pin. If I can get it up here. All right, we got our pin. We're going to put it right through the center. See that? So the head of the pin actually looks like a hub. See that? And then this is going to fit right inside our tubing, like so. And uh, there you go, guys. That's it. It's as simple as that. And all you got to do is, uh, all you got to do is super glue that in. You know, make sure it's nice and uh, straight. Line it up, and uh, you got yourself. An aluminum steering column. Looks a lot better than the one that came with the kit. And that's it, guys, you know. It's not that hard. It's easy. And, uh, yeah, I hope this uh, little video helps you guys out. And, uh, you know, apply it to some of your uh, bills. And, uh, you know, let the creative juices flow, man. All right? So, uh, that's it for today, guys. That's all I got for you. And, uh... Hope you enjoyed the video. You guys take care, be safe, and keep on building.